It's easy for Richard Hikeway to maintain the grass in front of his home. He doesn't have any. We don't even have a lawnmower. His yard may be grass free, but the boulevard adjacent to his home isn't. In fact, until recently, it was positively choked with grass and weeds. It was like right, right around here. But the city didn't regularly cut it. It didn't have to. Under the neighborhood livability bylaw, it's up to homeowners like Hikeaway to mow the boulevard grass next to their properties, provided it isn't on a major thoroughfare. Hikeaway says that isn't fair. Slavery is when they own the property, you are forced to work for them for little or no money time after time after time. So, I mean, the legal definition of slavery does absolutely apply here. So Hikeaway is trying to throw off the city's shackles and fight his ticket in court. I totally agree with the poor guy. I think I do. I would do the same thing. In 2013, Hikeaway fought a similar ticket, but the city dropped the case, citing a technical error. Hikeaway hopes this time it goes forward so he can win outright. But Winnipeg lawyer Norman Boudreau thinks he may be facing an uphill battle. What this gentleman has to prove, he has to prove that the bylaw is create an undue hardship on him. And that this is unmanageable, that he can't do this. I don't think the court is going to buy that. Neighbor Trish Patterson certainly doesn't. I get someone to do my, my lawn and grass too. I think he can do that too. But for Richard Hikeaway, it's a matter of principle. It's not my property. I'll keep fighting it. I'll keep going back to court time and time again until the city realizes that they can't treat people that way.